In this lesson, we're going to talk about the four fundamental forces that are found in nature. The first one that we're going to talk about is gravity or the gravitational force. The gravitational force becomes important when you're dealing with very large objects. Think of planets like the Earth or think of the Sun or something as large as the Moon. Gravity is a force that attracts objects together. It's a force of attraction, not repulsion. The gravitational force can be calculated using this equation. It's G1, I mean G times M1 times M2 over R squared. So as the mass of the planets increase, the gravitational force that they can exert on other planets will increase as well. Now the distance, if you increase the distance between two objects, the gravitational force will decrease greatly. So gravity is a long range force. It can act on objects from a very far away distance. So in the case of the Earth and the Moon, the distance between them is 238,900 miles and gravity can act over such long distances. Now the next type of force we're going to talk about is the electromagnetic force. Like gravity, this force is also a long-range force. It can act over a very far away distance. So let's say if we have two positive charges next to each other. These two charges, they will feel a force of repulsion. So this is an electric force that is repelling these two charges. Like charges repel, opposite charges attract. So a positive charge and a negative charge, they will feel an electric force that will pull them toward each other. So that is an example of the electromagnetic force, particularly the electric force. Now you also have magnetic forces as well. Let's say, for instance, if you have two barbed magnets, and if you place the North Pole next to each other, these two magnets, they're going to repel each other. They're going to feel a magnetic force that will push them apart. So those are some examples of the electromagnetic force. Now it's also good to know that whenever you have a charge that is moving, a moving charge can create its own magnetic field. So for instance, let's say if you have a wire and you have electrons flowing in this wire, those electrons will create a magnetic field around this wire. And they also have electric fields that point towards the electrons. So electric fields and magnetic fields, they're related to each other. Any charged particle can create its own electric field, and that can exert an electric force on other charged particles. And when those charged particles are moving, they create their own magnetic fields. Now the next type of force we're going to talk about is the strong nuclear force. Unlike the first two, this particular force is a short range force. It doesn't act over long distances, but over very short distances. So let's draw the nucleus of a helium atom. In that nucleus, we have two protons and two neutrons. Now the protons, they're positively charged. Whenever you have two positive charges next to each other, they are going to repel. So the electromagnetic force is 
pulling these two protons away from each other. But in this nucleus, the protons don't spontaneously just leave the nucleus. The helium nucleus is stable. So the fact that the electric force is not strong enough to pull away these protons, even though they're so close to each other, tells us that there's another force that's keeping them held together. And that other force is known as the strong nuclear force. It keeps the nucleus intact, preventing the electric force, or rather the electromagnetic force, from pushing those two protons apart. Now the last one is the weak nuclear force. This particular force is associated with radioactive decay. And one good example of that is beta decay. So here's an example, a specific example. Carbon-14 undergoes beta decay. It emits a beta particle, which is an electron, and it turns into a different element, which is nitrogen-14. And it also emits an antineutrino. Now the weak nuclear force is associated with these types of nuclear reactions. It's associated with radioactive decay. So those are the four types of forces that are found in nature. You have the gravitational force, the electromagnetic force, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force as well.